So I've ended up with a lot of brushes in my oil well, which I want to um, just take a few of them out. It'll clean them off. And also my oil in this container is getting a little bit old now, so I need to renew that. Um, but I was just gonna show you, because I'm a bit stingy, um, what I do with that old oil. I put it into a jar with uh, water and uh, give it a good shake up. And that's been standing for I don't know, weeks and weeks, months possibly. So all the, the sediment has gone down to the bottom in the water and I'm just left with clean oil at the top. So what I can now do very carefully is decant that clean oil into a jar. Just keep pouring it until you start seeing the water or the sediment. So that's clean oil. Same with that one. I've got some clean oil in that one as well. It's quite expensive, the oil. So, and I'm just using this just to stop my brushes from drying out. I'm not painting with it, because I give them a good wipe off before I start. And that jar will go again. And it just works on the principle that uh, obviously oil and water don't mix. So that's clean oil in that one, ready to go back in there. So I can go and get rid of that, which can just go into an old container like that, which you can then dispose of at the tip. Got rid of that. Let's just give that a little bit of a wipe around. Obviously a good idea to have gloves when you're doing this mucky job. So my old oil, I shall pour into that jar, like so. And then just add a bit of water. in there as well. Don't any more, so that's clean. And then pop the lid on. I give it a bit of a shake. And I just loosen the lid off slightly so it's not gonna be too tight. And then I'll leave that stand for several weeks and then the process will go again, so. Let's just wipe all that out. Then my new oil or my recycled oil and go back in there for my brush dip. And that's ready for there. So to wash your brushes, the way I do it, which is the reason why I do this brush dip because it's such a palaver, is I have three jars. And I found this is the only successful way to get all the paint out of your brush, is have white spirit in all of those. So I don't often wash my brushes. But, uh, we're going away for a, we're only going away for a week, so I don't actually need to wash them really. That's just, just to make a video really, <clears throat> to uh, to sort of show you how I do it. So I wipe off the excess paint off of there. So into the first one. Give it a good shake. Again, wipe it off into the next one. So there's still paint coming off. And then into the third one finally. So not a lot of paint coming off. But you might think that brush is now clean, but it's not that um, you would also, what I do, is take some soap, which I find actually the, uh, the hand soap gets more paint out than the liquid soap. So just a bit of warm water. And then just work the brush into the soap, like so. And then I wear gloves for doing this, and I can see there's still paint coming off that brush. So, work that brush. Again, I would repeat that at least three times. 
So imagine doing this every time you finish painting to ensure you get clean brushes. I'd give up oil painting, I think. You know, a lot of work. So repeat again, so for the third time, so there's still paint coming off on that time. There isn't, uh, there isn't a lot of paint coming off now, but still a little bit. And then, so that's now, that's now a clean brush, so clean tissue to dry it off. So that will dry and they won't uh, you know, have problems there. So that's a clean brush. And what you can do if it's got a, a splayed end, you can put soap on it, like so, and then shape it. And like I said, if you're gonna go away for a week on holiday or something, shape your brushes and just leave it like that. And that soap will go hard and you'll find that when you wash the brush off to use it, that uh, it will be nice and hopefully shaped back again. It does work quite well, I've tried that a few times, but uh, that brush is actually okay, so. And that's it, that's how to clean the brushes. So it's a much easier method to just, after your painting session is finished, also you go use up a lot of white spirit as well. And again, you can let the white spirit stand and all the sediment goes to the bottom and you can reuse it. So it's a lot easier at the end of your painting session, just wipe off your brush and then just lay it into the oil and you know you can leave them in there for weeks and it's not going to be a problem i find the handles get a bit sticky um, someone asked a question about using you know a sunflower oil or vegetable oil i wouldn't because it's a non-drying oil and if it gets into your paint it's never going to dry uh, i use bulk buying oil like this which is um this is just boiled linseed oil that you'd use for decking outside in your garden and so on so it's not designed for painting but uh, before i use my brushes what i do is i just scrape it on the side to get the excess oil off to not waste it and then i give it a good wipe off and make sure i get most of that oil off any little bit of that oil goes into your paint it's not gonna be a problem because it is drying oil so it will dry and that's ready to paint and you haven't got all that messing about cleaning the brushes so that's my preferred method so that one can stay in there so that's how i clean my brushes